right, slack on the go. Back with another video. Shout out to all my subscribers. Shout out to all my OG subscribers. And if you're new to my channel, you can go back and you can check out all my RT, scat pack, uh, truck content. Now I got a lot of gun content coming on. But uh, yeah, back at Alan Samuels. Here to see uh, what Mopars we got, man. Mopar prices are dropping. I, I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. I've been I've been looking at car gurus and all that. I mean, you can find scat packs for low 30s right now. You can find scat packs for low 30s. I'm gonna hold out, man. I, I'm thinking in the one to two years that you're gonna be able to get a scat pack for the low 20s. That's that's my opinion. But uh, yeah, cause the market is flooded right now with these cars. And the fact that all these 2023 models are still sitting and, and these dealers have all these used scat packs that they paid too much for. Now they can't get rid of them. It's going to be interesting what, what 2024 has to offer, man. So if I was you and I was in the market for a Mopar, I would just wait till next year and, and get a steal on them. But let's get to this video. See, got this used Challenger scat pack. 2022. Got the shaker hood. I like this uh, Alcatara seats, man. The red, the red stitching. We got another Challenger. We got a black scat pack. Oh man, someone put hot, hot sauce on them, man. Man, haters everywhere. But uh 2021. This one I looked up. I think this one was was a lot. I think they were asking 40s. It was, I think this one was in the 40s, so yeah, you got class seats. Got the 2021 SXT, Chrysler's, got the Cinema Stick Challenger. Oh, here we go. We got a uh, Alfa Romero. He just got a lot of problems, man. A lot of problems. I like the interior of it. We go, man. We got the Mopar. We got Mopars for days. Not, not too much has moved, man. If anything has moved at all. And yeah, we got the RT with the 345. And I'm telling you, man. If they would, if this RT right here was about 28. 28,000, I'd pick one up. But now, I mean, they're asking about $40,000 for these things. Here we got this wide scat pack, wide body, with a swinger edition. Yeah, swinger. Nice Mopar back in the days. Everybody would be wanting to drive this thing. $65,000 is the price of a Hellcat. Back in the days, ain't nobody gonna, ain't nobody gonna be driving it. Thirty-eight thousand for an SXT, a GT. It's almost forty thousand dollars. Got this Charger SXT. Let's see what they want for this. Thirty-six thousand, man. So with these kind of prices, man, these cars ain't gonna. Unless it's just somebody that just wants a Mopar so bad they don't really care. Look at this $48,000 for an RT, man. $50,000 for an RT. Man, that's crazy. That's crazy. Oh, I like this gray. GT, got another RT. Another GT. SXT, SXT. Got another RT, original body. $60,000, man. Got a sunroof. Got the Alcatara seats, man, but $60,000, man. 
for a scat pack. Last call, no call. It don't matter. I, I ain't gonna buy no, I ain't gonna spend no $6,000 on, on a scat pack for a sticker. We got this plum purple wide body. 67,000. Might as well say it's 70,000. By the time you uh, walk out of the dealership, you're gonna be probably about 78,000. Got this swinger. See what we're talking. Seventy-one thousand. Went out at two hundred. Five thousand dollar markup. I'm interested to see how many uh, charges and challengers are on the other side of the lot. Man, all these SXTs. GT, SRT Hellcat, man. Got an SRT Hellcat in the regular lot. Now, I want to say this is the first time that I've ever seen a Hellcat on the regular side of the lot, man. Usually they're inside or the outside in the front. I say this is the first time I've seen a Hellcat. That just shows you, man, where we're at. $84,000, man. $84,000. You gonna spend a hundred thousand dollars for a Hellcat? Let's make that. Let's make that trip. I gotta walk off this Bucky's. I just ate. All right, I got some RTs. So you can see, man, you can see the RTs, Chargers, SXTs, probably some scat packs over there. Got some Challengers, definitely got some scat packs over here. Man, this is what we're looking at, man. This is what Mopar, this is what, this is what the Mopar, uh, this is what all the higher ups, man, when they went with this uh, 2000 and, uh, 23 last call man they said oh everybody's gonna buy these oh everybody's gonna want these we're gonna mark them up we're gonna get rich you ain't getting rich out of nothing y'all ain't getting rich out of nothing these cars are gonna sit here until you guys come down off your prices we'll go bankrupt holding on to these things so i'm sure the bank's gonna foreclose on a lot of these things if the dealers ain't bought them bought them off Man, I'm talking about TA sitting. Oh, toward, toward the uh toward the tag off of it, man. So we really want to put the prices on it. Forty thousand man for a GT block top. Forty thousand. Mopar, we can have a car meet out here. We can have Mopar fans. This is, this is, we are Mopar, man. This is Wham. This is Wham 2023, man. Alan Samuels. Wow, man. They got this still here. Super B. 63,000. And I think the markup's five on this, too. Yeah, 5,000. One out of 500. We got the Black Hornet. Let's see what we got inside. We got a Hellcat. That's why that purple Hellcat out there. We got another purple Hellcat Charger. And we got another Hellcat. So we got three Hellcats sitting in the showroom. Why is that? Last call. Right, that's going to do it for this video, man. I thank y'all for watching. Uh, appreciate y'all. Hit the like button share if you haven't subscribed man please subscribe 
try to push out as much content for y'all as I can. I know, uh, man, I can't wait to get my C10. You know, this ain't a Chevrolet video, but I uh, can't wait to get that back with my LS. And then, I don't know, man, Mopar's looking good, man. Mopar's looking good for my future. As long as it keeps on with these prices and things keep dropping, I think a lot of us are gonna be, we're gonna be happy. But uh, appreciate y'all.